hello welcome back into this network channel so the topic of this video is how we can download and install and use a digital work software that that software is used for simulating the digital logic circuit that make it ideal for education purpose in electronics so there are the lot of digital related components uh, all of them and or NAND kit uh, like this one flip flop so you can utilize it to be simulated and that's the open source so uh, let's do it okay, how we can install it So first of all you need to be download it it's open source write down the digital work software on any kind of browser and then scroll down and find this web page it's mostly the first okay so now uh, that's the web page click on it then uh, that web page is open the digital works 3.0 and here you see this is the review and this is the download option click on it uh, then uh, scroll down and you see this is the bar um, and you just need to be wait for a few seconds then your download is start so now download is start it's take a few seconds just to be downloaded so now we see how we can install it now that's the digital works so first of all unzip it there is digital works now that's the digital works dot exe application file simply click on it and run it as administrator now you launch the digital works so in that way it's installed so now uh, it's working right now i just be show you how you can assess it on through on on your desktop because it's very important so make sure that folder which you unzip it's on the safe side like uh, that's the software digital works so make sure it is on that folder which is not deleted or you not uh, delete it because if you delete it then you don't be use it and second of all for assessing it directly through your desktop simply click on this software and send to desktop okay so in that way uh, you have your uh, digital this one digital work simulation shortcut simply run it and when you simply uh, run it here then you launch this digital works workplace and where you can do the simulation so right now i'm just be creating this uh, simply this is the or gate and uh, here i just attach the nor gate here no, uh, and then i just be do the wiring that's the wiring click on it select it and you can do the wiring like that one okay and i take the one more or gate and do the wiring um, connect the or two or gates with the one nor gate okay and now and we need the input and output that's the led that's the led so i connect the led with the output for indication and here you have the interact um, interactive input okay these are all the devices which you can use okay um, there is the rs flip-flop and there is the jk flip-flop there's a d flip-flop this is the memory device this is the tag device and this is the sequence generator clock interactive input so i need the only uh, two interactive inputs okay uh, why i show you right now quickly i just paste it here and with the wiring so i connect this two input in that way and now we just be you know uh, we attach the uh, output led with the uh, output of this nor gate and now we attach this input with here and that input with here okay so now that's our circuit so after that we run it so you see uh, the LED is on so for this one we need this interaction and now that's one and that's zero when we both is one one then not it's working when both is closed then output is zero uh, uh, the probe okay that's one 
said uh, and after stopping it we choose there and we choose the sequence okay this is the clock and this is the sequence generator so i just we paste the sequence generator over here and one more choose a sequence generator and paste it here so just simply delete it the inputs okay and we use this sequence generator edit the sequence so i choose a binary here and here i choose one zero one zero that's the sequence and again edit that sequence here binary one 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 uh, sorry one 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 zero okay and now that's the sequence second sequence so simply connect both sequence with the uh, input and for this one i choose a wire and in the wiring i choose i connected here and here i connected with that uh, with that okay now it's connected after that uh, i just simply run it so you see the sequence is working here um, so now after that i pause it stop it here uh, click on this add to logic history okay the output and then and add to logic history after that i simply run it and into the tools i see logic history so that's the logic history they say sequence sequence and that's untitled because that's the output it show you how that sequence is working okay i can stop it here and also run it so you can observe it very quickly stop it and also we use this uh, button to clock cycle like 11 clock 12 clock completed so in that way you can observe the sequence here so uh, i hope so you like this video in this video we see how we can download uh, and how we can install or maybe run this digital work software and also uh, we see how our uh, how we can simulate uh, the circuits on this digital works 